Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you this cute little box. Um, I called it a dome box, um, but to be fair, I don't know if you would class it as a dome box. I don't know, but it's rather cute. Um, the basic idea I actually got from uh, one of our foreign demonstrators. Um, I can't remember her full name, but I know that her name is um, Carola. I will make sure that she is um, linked in my blog, um, but this is her creation, um, beautiful box, and it is so simple to make and really pretty, and it is quite a decent size as well. Um, but I thought, well, I don't wanna just copy hers directly, so I made one similar with a slightly different top. So as you can see, mine has a slightly different top to it. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. So you need two pieces of uh, one cardstock, one DSP. Your cardstock needs to be seven and a half by two and three quarter inches, and your DSP needs to be seven and a half by two inches. You don't need your scoreboard for this. You can do everything on your trimmer, which I think is great. So with the um, cardstock, you need to score at two and three quarters at either end. and then you need to score at three-eighths of an inch from either end. Now, I know that a lot of people don't like to do that. Um, it is just this mark here. So let me just zoom in on my trimmer and I'll try and show you. It's that one. So you've got sort of a longer one and then a shorter one before you get to the half inch. So it's just that middle one there that you need to go to, which is also not far off one centimetre. So if that helps, you can work on the centimetre basis. So you oops, score that again on both sides. And then pop that to one side and get your DSP. And this just simply needs two and three quarters at either end. I do apologise for the diggers. I'm sure you've become accustomed to this noise with me now. <laughs> right, so, as with all, fold and burnish your score lines. And the same with this one. And all of the products that I have used today are listed below in the description. Um, sorry, they are listed on my blog and they are, my blog link is in the description. Um, and you can also purchase them from the store. The link for that is also um, in my description below. So, once you've got these beautiful pieces scored, folded and burnished, you then need a ruler, if I can grab this one and your scoring tool. Now I prefer to use the smaller end for this one just because I find it easier. And what you need to do is find the midpoint without the score lines which actually is five centimeters so you need to find two and a half and make a small line and then from that you need to score down to three and a half centimeters and do the same again at the top, so find the midpoint which is two and a half and then score down with a straight line to three and a half. Then you need a little pot of embellishments or something with a decent, uh, that's a good size little round pot. And what you need to do, and I apologise if you get a bit of my head, is put your scoring tool on the corner of your line and then you're needing to do the circle up to the corner of this fold here so just make sure you don't have the sticker because it can be a little bit irritating when you keep catching that you need a good wad wad of grid paper or magazines underneath and get your score and then likewise this side you do the same again so you have that shape on the top. 
and you do that on both ends and also on your DSP and like I was saying all of the products are available to be purchased from the store the link for that is below I got my wording right this time um, I have used the beautiful um, Daisy Delight here and uh, Knight of Navy on my yellowy one here I've used crushed curry and the beautiful whole lot of lovely DSP and as I'm sure you'll be aware by now this one is lemon lime twist with the fresh florals and like I said you just go along doing all four edges or ends whichever way you want to look at it scoring and then get in your tub it is a little bit of a long-winded job but I can assure you as you can see from my tub once you've finished the effect is lovely and this would be a great gift you could make up at Christmas to put in some jewellery or you could hang them from the tree for Christmas numerous uh, ideas available so there we go last one done okay so with your cardstock and your paper snips you need to just cut your wedges out of the four corners and then you cut away this middle section here so as you can see you've got your wedges and the middle section cut away there we go then I'm going to use tear and tape simply because I find this works better and I'm simply just putting a couple of strips here and I'm hoping that these lorries are going to be quiet just while I finish off I guarantee they're not so if you notice that I put the tear and tape on the inside of that one and then obviously you need to put it on your tabs which is obviously the opposite side so just put a strip I did try and do this with my uh, with snail and to be honest it doesn't generally work quite as well because the snail is a little bit wider than the tabs and it can get a little bit messy the tear and tape is the perfect width for the box so just last one beautiful and then so take your tear and tape off the inside if you can and then pop your DSP line it up there oops stick it on and then before we stick these bits up we just need to crease these parts here so your curves crease outwards which obviously does get a bit tricky when you get to the end here but you just fold in the center and then out with the curves in the center out with the curves and obviously you can see that shape then forming once you do it okay so let's get these stuck right. there's my piercing tool because it is a lot quicker with the piercing tool and you simply just stick your 
DSP onto the tabs as we go. So much quicker with a piercing tool. Obviously, if I had wasn't on video, I would be fiddling about trying to pick at it, and it drives you crackers, doesn't it? But it is good stuff, and it does work really well. So and there's that bit done. And then all you do is, as uh, as you do with quite a few things, is just pinch and push, pinch and push, and it will go in. So you can see that it's a good size box and then you just pinch and push and pinch and push and eventually this one's not creasing well enough eventually they do go in and you sort of push your that's where I creased that bit, that's why that one's not playing the game. There we go. Um, it's because I creased this piece of DSP when I stuck it down, I don't know if you noticed. There we go, that's better. And there you have it. And then all that's left to do now is to grab your handheld punch and you simply go along and just punch the corners, if you like, where the DSP and the um, cardstock meet. And this one unfortunately does look a little bit tatty because of me f creasing that DSP when I was folding it, which is annoying. So you've pinched, pinched, punched your holes I've now got some of my Whisper White Baker's twine and I've got a, this fabulous darning needle which has been a saviour for mine when I'm threading stuff. And then all you need to do is just thread through the corners. And then just go through them all. Make sure you don't lose one end as you're threading. And there's your threaded box and then you just push it back into place again and pull your ribbon or your twine and then tie your bow and there you have your pretty flower topped dome box as I said it's ideal for um, a Christmas tree or a little gift or chocolates or maybe even for favours at a wedding or to put on a table after dinner but I think they are really cute and as I say I just love the top of them because I think they look so pretty and although mine's teared a little bit because I was rushing and making a mess but as you can see my three cute boxes that I made up. Flower topped dome boxes. I hope I did Carola proud. I hope that she likes my adaption of her box. And like I said, um, all the information is on my blog and the link for that is below. And also all of the products that I've used are listed on my blog, which you can purchase through the shop. The link of that is below as well. Thank you for watching guys and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.